today we're gonna be talking about how to set up Z depth in Redshift and Houdini. So this is the line from our previous tutorial where we set up the basic stuff for Redshift. You can check it out. We've got a dome, we've got two RS lights, and we've got our object. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a camera. Okay, and in our camera, we wanna make sure that we have the Redshift parameters turned on. So if you don't have that on, you can come up here to Redshift and select your camera parameters with your camera selected. If you don't see Redshift here, then make sure to enable it on your shelves here on Redshift. Okay, so we're gonna set up the depth of field. First off, let's come into our camera and lock that view and pull out so that we can see um, the angle that we're gonna go for. Okay, so this is an okay angle because we can see far back there for the sea depth. I'm gonna unlock the camera and pull out and then now we have, we're able to see our camera. So, the camera is selected and with this uh, selection here on, we're gonna help set, set Z on your keyboard so that you can see this. Now, this is our Z depth controller. This means full focus, this means out of focus, and out of focus. So we're going to place this sort of right here, and then we're going to make it more of a strong um, depth of field. Okay, we're going to come into the camera, select this, depth of field, and enable depth of field. Okay, so that should enable our depth of field, and here's where we control our power. We're going to select uh, split top and bottom view, and we're going to come in here and check out our render view. So render view, select our camera, and let's hit render, see what we get. And let's see what this looks like. So off the bat, you can see we're already getting some nice depth of field. So I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more, see if we get even closer, something like that. You're gonna see that the back starts to blur out and then the foreground is not as blurred out let's choose a cooler angle maybe something like that come out of our camera come here and that's some pretty cool depth of field so let me just make sure that our camera is aligned. And then I'm going to stop our render, come into our out context, select our wretched drop, make sure we have in enough samples, and then on our out, we're gonna select AOVs and I'm gonna add a bit a AOV. Come here and select Z depth, and then this is gonna give you a Z depth pass. But I like to render it on my beauty as well, so that's why I'm gonna leave it on on my camera. And I am gonna come here, turn on, we have the global illumination on, and motion blur it is turned off because the camera doesn't have any movement. And that's how you set up uh, Z depth in Redshift and Houdini.